Today, everything from your smart appliances, your smart televisions in your living room, to the things that we wear, to the vehicles that we drive in or that drive us to places soon, gather data, information, personal information about us. Who owns and controls this data? That's the important question here. If this personal information about you is owned and controlled by you, then we have a democracy. But if this personal information and data about you is controlled by corporations and by extension shared with government agencies, then we have a very different type of society. We have a very different system. We have a corporatocracy. We need a new topology, a topology without privileged centers, a topology that is egalitarian in nature, a decentralized topology based on reason, on equality, on human rights, and on democracy. And for that, we must understand our own privileges and move beyond the world built on privilege. And if we're looking at the technology side of it, we can't do so by ignoring design. By design, I don't mean how something looks. I don't mean art. I'm talking about how something acts and behaves and is. The totality of a thing. Because design, removed of ethics, is purely manipulation. It is decoration. Decoration perpetuates the status quo. Design is what changes it. Well, Silicon Valley makes beautiful, gorgeous products that we all love to use. It empowers you in the here and now. But what is the cost? It's surveillance. And so it empowers you in the here and now, but it enfeebles you in the future. Free and open source. The cost is the experience. And experiences matter. This is not a dichotomy. You don't have to have either privacy or a great experience. You can have both. It can be done. There is an alternative. And that is ethical design. Instead of us designing things for the other, we must build diverse organizations which by designing for themselves can design for a diverse audience. We can build things that empower you with great experiences today, but which also protect your privacy and your human rights and freedoms in the future. But there's got to be a cost. Either you pay for it, or if we decide that this is in the interest of the commons, maybe we find ways of paying for it from the commons. We build things that are decentralized, private, open, interoperable, accessible, secure, and sustainable because this is basic respect for human rights. We then go on and we build things that are functional and convenient and reliable and usable because this is basic respect for human effort. We can go on and build things that are delightful because that is respect for human experience. This is the world that I challenge us to build.